It was tough. We were, we were brave. We're everything that you know I was complaining about last week. I thought we had. You know, we there was some there's some stuff that we need to get better at. You know, not getting to kickoffs and you know some polish on the end of some of the plays and the kicking. But on a whole. I couldn't be more proud of them this week. You know, I was really disappointed last week with our attitude, but in terms of that, I've gone full scale the other way. I'm really, you know, that's a hard thing to do at the end of the day, and I, I haven't built it on excuses or given them an out, but we well, seven guys out of the team. The seven out of the team that you would pick, you know, experienced guys at the start of the year, you take seven out of any team. Take, take seven players out of a top four team and ask them to play another top four, I doubt you get a more, you know, you, I don't know if you'll get a more courageous effort than what we got. And then to come up here and lose two, we went from three interchanges at half time to five like that. We lost both them boys to HIAs, they were gone. So all of a sudden I'm thinking I'm going the whole second half with three interchanges. So uh, that's what I said to him in there. I'm proud of him. We needed to turn up with that fight every week. Now, as a lesson, we'll take our lessons out of this that it's the NRL. Just because you're playing the Melbourne Storm doesn't mean that, you know, that's when you pack your best attitude. We have to do that every week now. Yeah, we're not good at the moment. We're, uh, yeah, I need to check Bradman. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, but he was, he's hobbling fairly badly there at the moment. Um, the two HIAs. Look, I, I spend most of the time talking to the team, so I don't know where we're at, but yeah, I, yeah. Oh, it's ankle. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know any more than that, other than uh, he's played the whole second half just sort of hobbling around, hoping that it'd get going. But um, yeah, it's not looking great. But um, we have a plan every week because it's happened that much to us. We had two and six minutes last week before right before half time, and then. Had the same against the Penrith game. So, look, we go in each week with a bit of a plan, but then sometimes just patch the team up and get them into spots that you think that they can be effective and, and go from there. So, um, you mentioned how you can't turn up against the teams, I guess, when you Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. We're um, it, it is a challenge, and we can choose to moan about who we don't have, or we can celebrate who we do and flip the mindset, and you know, go after it. We're still in the eight, um, I believe. I think. Um, and then we do. We've been through the worst of the travel. We've got a lot of home games, you know, but. You know, clearly based on last week doesn't guarantee you a win, but if we can hang on to that grit and toughness and we, you know, I'd, I think there's five season ending ones, but there's two more that we could get back and or we'll get Daniel back at some stage and fingers crossed, Eddie, if, if we're in finals, we'll get him back. Um, you know, and we hang on to some of that grit and get a little bit better in a couple of areas, then we'll be a hard footy team to, to knock off in finals or, you know, and, that's why I'm looking at it anyway. Yeah, I was really happy with uh, with Junior. He was, uh, you know, all week he, he's taken everything on board, took it all on his shoulders, the kicking and that, and the execution last week, as as you know, good captains do. But you know, he certainly wasn't on his own last week. But. I, th I thought he was excellent tonight, Junior. He was really uh, dangerous, especially leading into half time. I thought he really threatened that middle, and yeah, he'd he done a really good job. Um, you know, I thought there was a couple of times there where clearly we took the foot off the throat, you know, that a long range try off poor kick execution and stuff like that. But that's what they do. They hang in there. They're a tough club, and they'll hang in and wait for you to. Just come up with something that lacks a little bit of execution, and they'll pounce on it. So, and that's what happened to us. So. Yeah, they give plenty of team lessons. So, um, we got some last time we played them, and we got some more tonight. But 
um, thought we matched them for toughness and grit you know, and heart. You know, they're a team that's been together a while and I don't think there's too many missing. Um, there's certainly not seven, so, you know, we can take some solace in that that we, you know, I thought, I'd like to think that they thought we'd give them a game of footy tonight.